EA Sports bringing you the heat, bringing you the noise, and bringing you what should be a fantastic matchup tonight on the ice. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Great night for hockey. You can smell the popcorn in the air and the puck is dropped. Pucks it away in his own end. The Thrashers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Her team's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Brinkenridge. Across the line from center. Moves inside! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Blackburn. Wells is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Let's see the call here. The 67s are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, and he just puts it wide on that. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it. He misses the net. Coles at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Compton's got a hold of the puck. Trying to clear the zone. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this was my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time. And you knew when that puck was on your stick, you had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you could contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. And he takes the dip. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And it's kicked away. Takes the puck. Great pressure with the stick. Puck grab by Harrington. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. Cole's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Just things should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. And they keep the pressure on. Takes the feed at the point. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. On the attack along the boards. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Compton's got a five on three, and the clocks, they're BFF here. What an opportunity, a long five on three year, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Here's the pass. It's Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Compton's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Gotta hope that there's some more offense in this one. 
Harrington's taking it from his own end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Excellent stick work on the play. Yes. Oh, he got puddled by Blackburn. Jordan's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Atlanta's taken possession in their own end. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. I'm not sure how he saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screen. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. And he coughs it up with the pass. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Compton's got the puck inside the offensive zone. What a block as he lays out in front of it. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on and the good aggressive habits there and it leads to the kill. And a great read to turn that play aside. And he slides it quickly to Harrington. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Atlanta's got control of it now from their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And he serves it across to Wells. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Here comes the official's call. And the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Atlanta's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Slides it diagonally to Wells. Sorry, Pete! What a chance for the kick And there's the save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Coles looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Great reach with the poke check. Picked up along the wall by Cole. Atlantis playing it from the side. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. That knocks him off the puck. Handles the pass. Great reach with the poke check. Puck cleared from the defensive end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes a shot. Off the pass, and he keeps it out. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's going to be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the Mats are a lot better today. Quick feed to Wells. The Thrashers have it now. Nice zone entry on the left side. Picks up the puck. Truthful, the defense and structure, well, they just collapsed and played soft. You've got to be able to attack, and then result, a goal. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Coles won the draw center. Moves it to the offensive zone. And the slide. The real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot. And right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. Harrington stick handling in his own zone. 
From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Turns him away. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Atlantis got it in their own zone. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. That's his second penalty this period, James. He's got to reset emotionally and find a way to focus in on staying disciplined. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Can't get frustrated with their power play. Stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Atlantis got control of the puck. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, and a misfire taken along the wall. clear then they get the puck out and they needed that uh, they certainly did this pk unit has been on fire they get the clear that's one you kill valuable time that's two and now three you can contest the entry that's a great play all the way around couldn't catch up to that pass delayed penalty coming up here by the official whistle blown stopping the play well, you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier. And if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. And as the penalty expires, they've got to work now with a man advantage. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Thrashers will play it from the defensive zone. Takes defeat at center from the right wing. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Looking to get it out. And they clear the puck from the zone. Well, the PK unit has to be aware of where everyone is, whether they're in the middle of the ice, whether they're on the wall, and the angle at which they uh, take it off to glass to make sure they get it outside the blue line. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Compton's got a hold of the puck now. Ten more seconds. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Atlanta's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period but the coaching never stops i'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words and we'll be back with period number two in no time and we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two a tightly contested 20 minutes to start let's see if this continues here in the second all right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Thrashers don't want to put that first period behind them, James. And to be honest, they're lucky that it's a tied game. They didn't manage the puck, they didn't own it, and they didn't make good first-pass decisions. They'll need to shore that up if they want to get ahead in this one. Sends it quickly to Cole. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a chance! Turns that one away! Save made by the goalie! Compton's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes it to the net. And he skies that one over the net. Well, you can certainly see where he was looking, James. He's looking to go bar down up high here. And he just gets too much loft on that one. Doesn't turn the wrist over. And guess what? It's high. It's missed. And he denied him there. Receives the pass. Puts it on net. Oh, he got a little sliver of it. And it stays out. Answered the call there. Rios carries the puck in his own zone. And that's poked away. 
Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Front, and he gets just enough to keep it out. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Atlantis won the defensive zone draw. The Thrashers move the puck in the defensive zone. and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Atlanta's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Hoffman's gained possession. And he takes the feed. Steps inside the line. Atlanta's got possession at center. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And there's a puck at the point. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Atlanta's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Street. Compton's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Atlantis got a hold of it against the wall. Into the middle of the neutral zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Let's it fly. Oh, just wide. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Oh, save the play. Save. Makes a move in front, and that's broken up. Puck moved over to Jordan. The Thrashers will play it in their own end. Moves it to Cook. Jordan's carrying it ahead. Quick shot, and makes the routine save. And some good footwork to kick it away. Sends the pass over. Makes the glove stop. There's the whistle. We get a face off after the goalie covers up. the midway mark in this period. Atlanta's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The 67's come up with the defensive zone draw. Picked up along the boards by Bertin. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Loose puck battle along the boards. Executive saves there and keeps his team in it. Atlanta's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. The Thrashers win the draw. Nice feed from the right wing. Atlanta's got it along the wall. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Compton's looking to break out. Breakenridge is moving it ahead. Big play inside the defensive zone. Slides the puck down low. Here's a chance in front. That opportunity is rejected. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's a 2-1 hockey game. Off the face, off, they take the puck. 
Takes it across the blue line. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Takes possession. Cuts to the front. Stop on the goaltender. Puck picked up by Bertine. Harrington's got it in the defensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, stop with the pad by Blackburn. Atlanta's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And does it go? If you're in the slot, you got to hit the net. From the right side, they gain the zone. Knocked away in the offensive zone. to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. shooting shot and that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 one, one, where they were able to capitalize through an opening up lanes getting the coverage to move around and then firing and executing when you have it takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill and they'll get it out of the defensive end Compton's gained possession along the boards through the neutral zone now picking up steam the oh. Thrashers have possession shorthanded and called to the offside. We'll get a face-off. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Wells wins it in the dots. The 67th gain possession along the wall. And it takes the pass. perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Well, goaltenders are just so good in this league, James, that if they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Atlanta's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it up through the middle to the right. Paul has been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively, and this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. But this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. Moves it quickly over to Brinkovich. Stops the go-ahead goal. Puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strikes will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The 67s now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush times, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Oh, here's it. Too many bodies in the way. Hopkins got control of it now here in the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Wells has it in the defensive end. Cutting to the slot. Great poke check on the reach. And another call against the home team in these fans of... I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials. And for the players, this is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature 
the way the official's gonna call the game. And real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Another chance here on the man advantage. When a power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. Here's a short pass to Harrington. It comes up empty. Atlanta's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Walks the line here. Atlanta's got possession of the puck. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Compton's looking to break out of their own end. And sends it just out of reach. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Compton's moving it into the offensive end. The Thrashers can kill off a few extra seconds now. They clear the zone. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Shot, and he was ready for that save. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Coles recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Sends a pass over. Compton's got the puck against the boards. Wells, penalty is about to expire. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The 67s come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. For an average PK, thought they did a much better job, James, just reading and anticipating and being very aggressive on the puck. The Thrashers still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Still lots of time left in the period. Compton's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Atlantis won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he makes the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Great feed to Frederick. Steps into the offensive end. Fires it on net. And he rings the post. Compton's been working hard and to put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game. And it's the reason they have the lead. They wanted to extend their cushion. But unfortunately, bad luck on their side. They need it. It was good position by the goaltender. But nonetheless, it goes off the post today. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back yourself shorthanded. Compton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Taken by Bertine. Wide of the net. Real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Get out of there. Compton's got the puck behind the net. Here he is, shot on the side. Turn that chance aside. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. And the puck goes out of the zone, finally easing up all that pressure. Compton's got the puck along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Rios works the puck in his own zone. And that sends a few people scrambling for cover on the bench. Cole's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Here's a change. Compton's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The 67s win the draw. Big time stop! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen.
Well past the midway mark of this period. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And there's a whistle after that big time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. Puck clears the zone. Cooks up and ready to get back on the ice. Atlantis back to even strength oh, as they've oh, killed oh, off the oh. penalty. Although they're still trailing, this game is now within reach with that effective kill. That gives life to the entire bench. Over the line they come. Grabs the puck. Slick feed. Great heads up play to push it away in the offensive end. Gains the zone from the right side. Takes a shot. And that one's denied. Atlantis run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Grabbed along the board by Harrington. Oh, what a save by Blackburn. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. of this period. Compton's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it's kicked away. The Thrashers gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. Just a great defensive read there. And there's the save on the play. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Gets a hold of the puck. The 67th moving in. Shot! Comes up with a stop. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Cole's won a big draw on their own end. Atlanta's got a hold of the puck. Under a minute to go in the third. Shaves the puck away. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Street's got it against the boards. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. They've got the extra attack right here for the face-off. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Atlantis won it, now they'll go on the attack. Slides the puck over. Gets a piece of it with the glove. And that's knocked away. And he loses control here. Grabs the puck. Here's a shot. Lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So then it goes into the empty net. Cover, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah, but I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out. <laughs> Fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. 
Well, in the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a, a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Compton's been the better team tonight, and after that empty netter, that should pretty much seal the win for them there. Well, I like the way they've played and they had an urgency at the end of the game here, and they're rewarded with the empty netter. They should have this one in the bag. Attacker is now out of the ice. Takes a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. This game was ultimately a lot closer than the score indicates tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, it was a one-goal game, and then you pull your tender in the hope that you're going to get back in it and try it to get it to extra time, and they're unable to do it. They had the urgency. They just couldn't finish. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James, she's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.
What a great night for some puck. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. So glad you could join us. Let's go. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Great energy in the barn this evening, and we are officially underway. Handles the puck. Big save. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Freakin' Riches won the draw. And now he moves it quickly to Bergeen. Rister turns it aside with the club. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And they win the draw here in their own end. Not to stop. Tough battle along the boards. Unable to reach that one. Atlanta's got it in their own zone. Tips inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. The shot! And he's off the crossbar! Oh, that's so frustrating. Sometimes you just don't get the bounces. The goaltender's going to say, ah, I was in good position, but nonetheless, it does not go in. Off the bar and out. Reaches out and uses the stick. Atlanta's got it into the offensive zone. Gets the glove on it. It's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Cuts to the paint, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. And let's see what the call is. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Here's the chance to set up now. Oh, on the play. Whoa. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Such an impressive save, James, and I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied on a puck stopper. What an incredible glove saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Cole's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Atlanta's got possession here in their own end. And the puck. Compton's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Handles it along the blue line. Denies him! Atlanta's penalty killers get a hold of it. Here's the clearing attempt. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Here's a shot. Big time stop. The Thrashers have it now. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Atlanta's man is out of the box, and we're back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Played big in the moment there. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We're still scoreless. Breakin' Riches won the draw here in the offensive zone. And makes the save. Great reach with the stick by Breakin' Ridge. Gaining momentum up along the side. Oh, dumped right over the boards! Oh, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you got to crawl your way out back to your side. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now a 
it's grabbed by Cole. Here's a chance, and it fakes off a stick in traffic. Breckenridge has got the puck in his own zone, and he can't hang on after that hit. Great read with the stick. Stopped by the goaltender. Compton's got it against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Harrington. And he takes the feed. The Thrashers cross the blue line and are on the attack. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Feeds it down low. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the halfway mark of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Compton's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Compton's got the puck along the wall. Puts it on the end. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Compton's trying to make something happen on the offensive side. Came up with the save on that play. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Fellows takes the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Looks to pass it to Jordan. Slides the puck across. Jordan's got it into offensive territory. Dumps it in. Compton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Takes the pass. Quick shot. Oh, he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. And gets it deep inside the offensive zone, allowing them to get a breather. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Atlanta's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck scooped up by Cook. The 67s have it from their own end. Here they come on the attack. Compton's got the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him in close. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Made the save on the play. Quick pass across to Ovechkin. Takes the return feed. Slides it quickly to Wells. Goes the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. period number one both teams will grab a quick breather you can grab a hot dog and we'll be back with second period action in moments looking for a way to show love for your team don't forget team hat giveaway night is right around the corner the first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up an official team hat both teams are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up for the first 20 minutes? Compton's possession time was great, James, but this can be frustrating. I mean, you have a puck on your stick, but you're unable to execute. They can't let that get to them. They have to stick with the game plan. They just have to find the mid lane of the ice and not be afraid to drive the net. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Takes the feed. Moving into the attacking zone. Here comes the call from the official. Cole's going off to the box for two minutes. Compton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Can't get frustrated with their...
their power play stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one time. Cooked away at the offensive end. Solid kick to slow down. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And they get the puck out of the zone. I like the aggressive sequence to this PK unit, James. They're all over the puck in straight lines and hard and heavy on it. When they get it, they send it 200 feet down the ice, and this kills some valuable time and gets them a line change. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Wells wins possession in the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. The 67s have it against the wall. Here they come. Great use of the stick at center by Cook. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Wells is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The 67s win the faceoff at center. Ovechkin's going to play it against the half wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. Scrum ensues along the boards. The 67s gain control of the puck against the wall. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Shot. Oh, he makes another save. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Another face-off looming here on this power play. The frozen fist gets dropped, and we are back underway here. The 67s have the puck now. And they continue to apply pressure here. Coles out of the box, and both sides are back to even strength. Makes it look easy with the stop. And the PK does a great job, and when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. A great start there. Atlanta stay in possession along the board. Use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. For the most slot. Fantastic save. Some solid defensive work in the own end with the poke check. Jordan's moving the puck through his own zone. Atlantis moving it along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Compton's got a hold of it against the wall. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Fires it. Gets a piece of it with the trapper. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. count James now it will negate their power play opportunity but hey when you capitalize you don't get the power play well, the goaltender he's gonna want this one back James I thought that he was set to position just the blast of the shot it hit him he got a good chunk of it but it went in you can see the frustration in the body language the 67s deserve a lot of credit here breaking through with the first goal they didn't get frustrated. They've just stayed with the game here, Cheryl. Well, and they needed to, James, because they've had an effective game. I like the way they've played. They've been aggressive. They've pounded pucks. Mm -hmm. They've had the majority of shots, and they finally capitalized. Great poke by Cole. Compton's ready to go on the attack. Shot, and that goes off a player. Moves it to a Ovechkin. Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. 
Compton's got to be feeling good about their game right now. Up by two here in the back half of this game. Yeah, over half the game played, and they're up by a few goals. They won't want to change their mindset at all. And sometimes your grip can get you a little rested, but can also change the tune. They'll want to make sure they come out in the third when they get the opportunity and really dictate the pace. Dick work there to poke that one away. Fellows plays it now. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. You know, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one-sided. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep grading yourself to the box. The 67s once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Takes a shot, and it goes off a stick and off to the side. Atlanta's got a hold of the puck now. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. Great use of the twig as he pokes it away. Here's the shot. recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And a successful clearing attempt. Compton's got possession of the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. And that pass goes off a stick. Takes it to the front. Doesn't reach to that because it goes off a stick. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The 67s get a hold of the puck along the boards. Compton's got it in their own zone. Carries it across the line. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. The Thrashers take it along the wing. Puck grab by Street. And that carries off a body in traffic. The 67s have it now. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here comes the goaltender to play the puck outside the crease. Picks up the puck in his own end. Fellows is brought down a penalty on the way. Let's get the official decision. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Here with the delayed call. There's the whistle, and here's the call. 
Well, this is just a lack of discipline and emotional control. You can see his frustration. He extends the arms, and he gets a cross-checking call. for the drama next. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Atlantis won the opening face-off as their power play continues. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The 67s have possession shorthanded. Through center. Confidence on the attack. The Thrashers gain control of the puck. Atlantis got it across the line. Compton's got control of the puck. Trying to clear. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And the puck clears the zone. Atlantis got the puck along the wall. From the open ice, they gain the line. Ten seconds left. Brennan standing up, ready to go. That save and a beaut. Bertine's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. That's a great job by the PK unit, James. Protecting the lead late in the game, finding a way to get it done. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Just keep it simple and stick with the lead. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The 67s are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Compton's won the draw. From the point, they take control of it. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Atlantis in transition. Great reach with the poke check by Harrington. Ovechkin stick handling in his own zone. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Puck picked up by Rios. Hunts the boards through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. The 67s have been bringing the fire offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Compton's through center and now in the offensive end. No room for that one to get through. And it's a quick pass to Cook. And he takes the dish. James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Bertine's got it in the offensive zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Quick pass to Wells. Atlantis across the blue line. Compton's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Tripped up on the play. Delay penalty coming up. Now a quick pass to Wells. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's the official call. Breakenridge is going to the box for tripping. <laughs> Atlantis power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays more time on the ice. 
the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Thrashers will play it in their own end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get that puck down the ice. The Thrashers gain possession in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Loses his balance on the play. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Cole's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Thrashers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Clearing attempt. Gets it out of his own end. Atlantis got the puck. The Thrashers fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, it's a tough one when it's a tight game and you get a call, but the PK cut unit comes out here and they deliver, James. And you have to have the ability to embrace the pressure, and they did just that. And skilled use of the stick to hook the puck away. Here they come. Still the left side on the attack. The Thrashers have it in the offensive zone. There he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Compton's got a 2-0 lead. The 67s win the defensive zone faceoff. Across the line. Sends it to the middle. And he denies it. Great opportunity there. Compton's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Coles won a big draw in their own end. Crooks lugging the puck. Saka sticks somewhere in traffic. Takes the feed from his own end. Good read with the stick to break that up. Good pass over to Bergeen. Puck knocked loose after that hit. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Handles the pass. On the attack along the board. Turns it aside with a save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Atlanta's going to start with the puck at their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Compton's got it behind the net. Atlanta's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Cook. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picked up along the board by Cook. Look out! who was in the right place at the right time. Compton's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Breakenridge has won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The 67s will play it in their own end. Broken up by Rios. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Pass to Rios. Atlantis going on the attack as they gain the zone. That's blocked. Taken along the wall by Cole. Atlantis emptied the net. The extra attackers now out on the ice. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Empty net. You've got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. An aggressive draw, something they've worked on in practice. They'll look for the quick win with the extra attacker. Breckenridge has gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Let's it fly! And that's blocked. Picked up along the wall by 
Breckenridge. Carries it into the five. Yeah. Cheryl picking up that shutout. Yeah, and it was a tough one as well. A lot of shots came his way, but really aggressive. Got to the top of his crease. Excellent job. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks for playing.